What's up guys, Mardi Gras Man 23 here and we've got a little bit of a Lego haul. We've got three Bricklink packages and one box from Target. And if you guys are following my hauls, you probably know what's in the box from Target. So let's get it started. So, let's do the Bricklink packages first because these are all parts for my two projects. One of them is a train shed, which I'm really getting close to. And I'm getting close to, I'm getting to the point where I am getting to the few pieces that I don't really need. Um, or I can substitute one or the other. So this is just some train reels. And this is when it gets bad. You get down to the end of the project and you need a handful of pieces, but there's not a store that has multiple parts. So the pieces aren't that expensive, but then you end up paying three and four dollars shipping for every order. So this order is only the train wheel train wheels. Uh, this one part here is for the train shed. And then that I think is for the train. So we got that. So that's one order. That is from a store called Well Played. So then we got this one, and this one is from Bulk Bricks. And let's see what's in here. I've had these. These have come in over the course of the last week. So I'm just finally getting around to it. So you can see there. There's my order, Earl Roy. So this is going to be some more torsos. Because that's... This is only... This is all that I needed from this store. Was this red ladder and these two green pieces. These are for the train shed. This is for the train, which is 7810. And again, you go to the store. I needed this piece. All he had on my wanted list was these two pieces. So I just added some of these just to, you know, I build a few more sig figs and kind of make it worth my while going to the store. And here's some one by, I think this is actually why I went to that store for these one by one old dark gray tiles and so got those parts there so we got one more and this one is from i don't know the store name of this one so let's see what's in this one this one and it's there wasn't even any figs uh like this. This is a Blacktron fig, which I'll add him to the. Is this Blacktron or Mtron? Let's see. This is the Mtron fig. He's in pretty good shape. So we'll add him to the astronaut or spaceman collection that I have behind me back there. The only one I need to get, which I'm not going to. Oh, that piece came off rather easy. The only one that I need to get, which I'm not going to spend a lot of money on, because I figure it'll be around for a while, and eventually I'll be able to get one, is the orange guy. I don't want to pay 30 something dollars for that book. So there's the Mtron fig. So the Mtron fig is going to go back here by the Blacktron fig, if I can get, his, get him to cooperate. So there, we've got the Blacktron, the Mtron got the uh, gray spaceman that I built and then back here we've got all the colors except the orange one I think that's all the colors so here's my little invoice and here's the parts I needed so I was realized that I I didn't have two glass two glasses for two of the windows so I had to go get that there's one lone dark gray tile. And then here is the piece, the train shed piece. And I didn't realize this until someone told me in the comments. I was going to substitute this piece with this piece. And I still need a couple of them, so I'm going to try to make it work. But if you look on the bottom, there's not a spot to attach it. So you have to use the end. So we'll see if we can get it to work. I mean, it's basically the same piece. This is the old style. This is the new style. 
And there aren't too many of them left on BrickLink in the United States. There's a handful, but they're getting expensive because I've been buying them up. And I'm getting close to having enough. I think I need four, four more maybe. So that's all for that little, br three little BrickLink orders. And when I say little BrickLink orders, I mean little BrickLink orders. So now let me open this Target box. And I'll show you what we got, which you probably already know. Target ran a pretty good sale. Target ran a pretty good sale, and they had a bunch of sets. Uh, there was like three sets that I realized that parted out really well, and I chose to get this one. So here's four, 403 pieces, 75957, the night bus. So here's two more, which was odd was I ordered three online, and, and they sent one from somewhere, and then the other two came from somewhere else so the i got the first one oh, probably about three or four days maybe a week ahead of these two which is odd I've, I've never had that happen at target where it gets shipped from two different destinations so now we have six of these to part out so i've got a question for you guys i'm going to go part them out but i want to know would you keep one of these sealed as kind of an investment i'm not going to and i'm going to tell you why i'm not because this parts out for 80 just over $80. I paid $23 for it. I think the original retail is $39.99. So I'm going to part it out. That's four times part out value. Now I know for to get $80 out of it, I have to sell every part. But it's going to add parts to the store and people are always going to shop in the store. So it might take a little more time to turn. But in the Otherwise, it would just be sitting in a closet, trying not to get damaged, or I don't have a closet to put it in, so it would be sitting in a stack, trying not to get damaged, and I'd have to wait till it retires, which it doesn't look like it's going to retire next year. Then I would have to wait another year or so before I could probably get 50 or $60 for it, and that is not... Yeah, that's if I paid twenty three and I could sell it for sixty, that's really good. But you have to sit on it for two to three years at least. So I am gonna part them all out. So tell me, would you guys part them all out or would you save one? Just letting you know, I'm not saving one, but I want to know what you would do. So leave me some comments below. You got any projects you're working on? Did you pick up any good deals? I think this was actually. Cyber Monday. I don't remember if this was Black Friday or Cyber Monday, but actually Target ran Cyber Monday all week. So I know it was the week after Black Friday. There was this one, the Quidditch match, which, and there was a Star Wars set that actually parted out at $80 too. That was $23.99. They had a lot of good deals on that Target. I should have took advantage of a couple more, but I didn't. So we're going to part these out. And that's all for this one. This one's been a little long-winded. Three little BrickLink packages, working on a couple projects. What are you guys working on? Two more Harry Potter sets, so that gives me six to part out. Would you save one of these, or would you part them all out? So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like the video and give me a thumbs up. Appreciate all the support. Check out all my playlists. And until the next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. <laughs>